Welcome to our first quarterly seminar, webinar. We're happy that you have, uh, are attending. Um, today, uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, presenting a topic for you uh, on monetizing your learning platform. Each one of these webinars will have a theme. Today, it's monetizing the platform, get, showing you how the platform can pay for itself and generate revenue streams uh, for you and your organization. Um, what I'd like to do, if we were in a traditional classroom, I would make the, uh, I would start by giving you a sense of what we hope to accomplish for you. So at the end of this webinar, you will be able to do the following things. You'll be able to discuss the three methods for monetizing uh, the Rockstar Learning Platform. You'll be able to identify new features found in the latest uh, Rockstar Learning Platform release, and also be able to plan and prepare for new functionality and new features uh, that will be coming in upcoming releases. You'll also be able to describe the new uh, eLearning Brothers customer success framework and how that will benefit you and your organization. Um, so our agenda for today is we will start with a, uh, uh, an overview of uh, some of our e-commerce solutions. Uh, we will take a look at the development roadmap for the Rockstar Learning Platform. We'll talk a little bit about the customer success framework, and we'll close off our webinar today with a panel discussion, which is really an opportunity for you to ask questions and get answers from uh, the experts. Uh, what I'd like to do is to introduce our panelists for the day. Uh, Carling Redinger comes to us from our professional services group. Uh, she's a technical project manager there and keeps all of our RLP projects uh, running smoothly. Uh, Veronica Snigarova is our senior product manager for the Rockstar Learning Platform, and she is responsible for all of the development, the scheduling, the release, the planning. And uh, I think you'll see that some of the things that she's doing is going to be very exciting uh, for the success of your platform moving forward. I'd also like to introduce the newest member of our team, Alex Coggins. Alex is our customer success manager for the Rockstar Learning Platform, and uh, he and I will be working with you and your organizations over the next many, many months uh, to ensure that our success and your success come together. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm John Eckhart. I'm the Director of Customer Success for our LMS platforms, and uh, I have support customer solutions and systems um, uh, uh, under my uh, uh, tutelage. So with that, I'd like to uh, move on into the really interesting part of the presentation, and that is how do you monetize your learning platform? Uh, for those of you that have been with us for a long time, you'll know, uh, you know Carlene well. Uh, she is uh, the personification of the Rockstar Learning Platform, and uh, nobody knows as much about it as she does. So with that said, uh, Carlene, how do we make money with RLP? All right. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay. Um, as John mentioned before, I am going to be talking about how to monetize your Rockstar Learning Platform using our e-commerce options and um, enterprise IDs. So um, in this example, we're going to be using a company called Computer How To. They are a small company that offers courses in computer basics like cybersecurity, uh, Microsoft Office products, things like that. So they wanted to be able to have a way to easily have their users purchase their courses and then get access to them in the Rockstar Learning Platform and just make it all automated so it's super easy. So what we did is we created a Rockstar Learning Platform e-commerce site. This is what it looks like. It's completely branded to them. You can add whatever information you want on here. They have an about page, contact, 
I'm going to click into courses and pricing. And we'll see, these are all of the different options that um, computer how to put on here for purchasing. So let's say I'm a user, I come on here, I want to purchase the Excel basics course. So I can add this to my cart. Okay. I can also purchase multiple products. So let's say I wanted Word also, I can add it to my cart and purchase both. So I'm going to click next. And then it's going to ask me to register. So this is going to be my um, username and password for the Rockstar Learning Platform. And I'll just put in an email address here. Okay, and then I create my password and click next. I'm just gonna copy this so I can log in later. So now it's creating my login and now it's gonna take me to the secure payment page. So this is where users would type in their credit card information and confirm payment. This is gonna go into a Stripe account. That is the payment provider that we use on the Rockstar Learning Platform e-commerce sites. And all of the payment is going to go into that account and then you can then deposit it into your bank account. For this example, I'm gonna use a coupon code so that we can move forward with the purchase. It's just gonna make it free, but normally the users would type in their information and pay. So then I'm gonna click confirm. Okay, it's gonna take me to my receipt page. I can print that out. I'm also gonna get a welcome email that's gonna send me my receipt information and also how to log into the platform. But I can just click on the start your course now button. And then it's gonna direct me to log into the Rockstar Learning Platform. So I can start taking the course I purchased. So I'll just type in my account credentials that I just created. And now it's gonna give me a little informational overlay to show me how to use the platform. And here's my course that I purchased right here. You'll notice that I only have access to what I purchased, uh, the Excel basics. As an admin of the Computer How To Rockstar Learning Platform, I can put a banner here and it's clickable so that if my users want to learn more about other courses I offer, they can just click here. And then it's gonna take them right back to the e-commerce site and they can browse through other purchasing options. When a user purchases a course on the e-commerce site, a user is going to get it created in the Rockstar Learning Platform, so you can manage them there. But there's also going to be a reporting dashboard for the e-commerce site that um, you'll have access to as well. So I'll just go into that quickly. Here's the dashboard. It's just going to kind of display some, some um, purchasing statistics, your net revenue, what products have been sold, what users have purchased the product, and then which product they purchased. So this is also available to you if you use the e-commerce site. Some other e-commerce options that we have are an integration with um, Shopify and Infusionsoft sales pages. So I'll just show you that quickly. To access the integrations tab, just log into your administration portal, go to settings, integrations, and then you can see we have Shopify and Infusionsoft here. These integrations work in the same way. So I'm just gonna review the Shopify one. Um, how it works is you click on Shopify, it's going to prompt you to log into your Shopify account. Once you do that, there's gonna be a connection made between Shopify and the Rockstar Learning Platform. It's gonna pull in all of your Shopify products here. So you can see we have the Excel Basics, Word and Cybersecurity. And all you need to do is connect them to your Rockstar Learning Platform products. So again, Excel to Excel, Word to Word, and so on. And then the last step is just copying this URL here and then pasting it in to your Shopify confirmation email. When the user makes a purchase, they'll get the email, they click on this link, and that's how they're going to create um, their Rockstar Learning Platform uh, username and password, and it'll only give them access to the course that they purchased on Shopify. And again, Infusionsoft works in the exact same way. So now that we went over the e-commerce options, we can go into um, options for 
getting larger organizations onto your Rockstar Learning platform. So to do that, you would create an enterprise ID. What enterprise IDs do is it's going to give you the option to completely brand your Rockstar Learning platform for a different organization. So they come in, they say, we wanna use your content, but um, we want the platform to look like it's ours so that our users have like a really seamless experience when they log in, they recognize the branding, everything like that. You can do that with enterprise IDs. It's also going to give you the ability to use enterprise admins. So if the organization comes to you and says, I really wanna be able to log in and look at reporting anytime for my users. I wanna be able to manage my own users. You can give them those permissions and it's only going to show them their users in the platform. They're not going to have access to anything else. You'll also have um, enterprise settings that you can customize certain features like events and boards, rating your content. You can customize that for enterprise. So you can kind of make it a customized learning experience for that organization. And um, another benefit is also single sign on. So um, let's say your organization comes to you and said, we already have a platform that our users log into. Can we make a seamless transition into Rockstar? And we can do that with single sign-on. All the users will have to do, click on a button in their uh, platform. It will automatically sign them into Rockstar and it's going to give them um, only the courses that they should have access to. So that is available for enterprise as well. So now that we went over the benefits, I'll just give you a, a, a client example. Um, just looking at three of our clients that use an enterprise model, they have over um, 200 enterprises and um, 100,000 users. So this is a great way to increase your revenue stream from the Rockstar Learning Platform. So now that we kind of went over the benefits of the enterprise IDs, I'll show you what one looks like. So um, in this example, we have another company. Um, it's an art supplies company called Brushes with Greatness. They came to Computer How To and they said, we really need our employees to take a cybersecurity course. Um, how do we get our users into the platform? We want a, a custom experience. So Computer How To created an enterprise ID for Brushes with Greatness. And you can see they have their own customized URL they have their own branding. So I'm just gonna log in with a user that is assigned to the Brushes with Greatness Enterprise. Okay, you can see we log in. It's a totally different branded experience than the, where is it? Here we go. Than the regular computer how-to branding, even though it's the same site. So they have their logo, their banner, they change their colors but all of the course content is the same. That's all shared between the enterprises. You'll also see that we've enabled the events tab. Um, let's say Brushes with Greatness came to Computer How To and said, we really like your courses, but we also want a virtual event so that our users can interact with you and ask questions. So we enabled the events tab for them. And you can see there is a cybersecurity event on the 29th, so users can click on that. And then they can RSVP to this event. All the event information is gonna get emailed to them and then they can join the event on the 29th. So that's what the enterprises look like from the front end of the platform. And I'll just show you what that looks like on the back end quickly. So this person is an admin. I'm just gonna click into the admin page here. Go into settings. And then general, this is going to be your enterprise settings. And then I can choose which enterprise I want to edit from my drop down. So this is my default enterprise. Oh, I'm sorry, this one is computer how to. Okay, and you can see I can scroll down, I can adjust all of these different settings per enterprise, the branding, the um, tabs that appear on the front end. And then if I click on brushes with greatness, can see this is where I plug in all of their branding and enterprise settings. So um, you can see enterprises are a great way to customize the learning experience for larger organizations that are coming onto your platform. 
you have any questions about the e-commerce sites, the integrations, um, enterprise IDs, feel free to put those in the chat or you can reach out to your um, account manager. Um, with that said, I'm going to pass it back to John. Well, thank you, Carlene. That was fantastic. Um, let's just kind of let me do a quick summary. We really have three options for you that Carlene has shown. We have the RLP e-commerce site. It gives you the opportunity to create branded content that you can sell on the Internet. Uh, it's typically targeted perhaps to a smaller audience and often by in, uh, invitation, but it is a very useful uh, solution and it's one you manage yourself. The Shopify and Infusionsoft integration provide you with turnkey solutions, which are perfect for getting your content out to the industry that you support or that you are part of. The enterprise solution allows you to either brand or white label your content uh, to uh, help manage your long-term established relationships. And uh, I think of this in terms of bulk consumption. Um, you know, our business is training, but we recognize that training is a business. So the, here are some ways that you can use the Rockstar Learning Platform to extend your training out beyond just the, you know, the, the, the bricks and mortar of your organization. So I hope you found that as exciting and interesting as I did. Uh, thank you very much. Um, our next speaker is uh, Veronica Snigarova. Again, she is our uh, senior product development manager, and she is going to walk you through the Rockstar Learning Development uh, Roadmap. So go ahead, Veronica. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, let me share my screen. So today I will be going over um, some of the features that were included in um, the last release and um, some of the features and feature enhancements that we are working on right now and that will be included to that, uh, to that three release. So uh, two, two weeks ago, we have deployed to the two release of the Rockstar Learning Platform, and it includes such features as public API. Uh, the Rockstar Learning Platform now includes a public API to facilitate integration uh, with other systems. We have implemented our first API call that is get user lists, and it allows third-party tools to pull a list of all users that exist in the Rockstar Learning Platform. Also, um, we have implemented reusable seats per office. Admins have a new office cap setting and expired learners can either be counted as part of an office's maximum number of learners or their seats can be filled by new users. Uh, this helps companies who sell products and licenses and it ensures, um, ensures that they are paid for every license in each office. And in order to enable that setting, um, to change the setting, you would go to settings, office, pick an enterprise. And over here, and there is a new toggle to allow new learners to take seats from expired or inactive learners. It's enabled by default, but you can turn it off. And if you turn it off, um, then new learners will not be able to take the seat of the expired um, user. And you will either have to delete that expired user or expand their office cap. Uh, the next feature um, is uh, view modules course listings. Administrators can now view all of the courses a module belongs to, as well as the courses path directly from the module details page. So if you go to content page and uh, select a module, then there is a new section over here with a list of all of the courses that this module belongs to. And if you click on one of them, then that course opens up and the module is highlighted. Here you go. I clicked on the other one and their other course was, um, uh, it opened up and their module was highlighted. 
Um, the next feature enhancement um, that was included is uh, we gave admins an ability to update percent complete for audio and video modules using the update completion status feature. Um, so you would go to reports, um, completion by modules, and over here, there is a new option to update completion status. You need to download the template, and in this template, you need to enter module ID. You can find the module ID either on this page over here or on content page as well in their module added view. Um, so here you go. When you click on the module, it's listed over here. So you copy that module ID, you paste in it here. Then you enter email address of the user that you want to update the completion status for. And here you add percent complete. So let's say I want to update um, completion status of a user to 50% complete. I enter 50 here. Uh, enter email address and module ID, I save the file. And then um, over here, I upload it. And then after it's processed, um, their completion status will be updated on the learner side, as well as in reports. All right, the next session is batch delete modules. Uh, the modules, uh, the module batch editor now allows admins to delete <clears throat> multiple modules at once, either from the content library or within uh, specific courses. So when you go to content page and uh, click uh, module batch editing, you can select several uh, modules. Then from this page, you can delete um, all of the modules that you have selected at once. Um, so you just uh, click delete and all of them will be deleted. And also you can do it from the course. So let's say you want to delete all of the modules that uh, are inside of this course. So you hit uh, module batch deleting and delete button here and hit delete and all four courses will be modules will be deleted. Uh, the next one is uh, um, we have converted registrations and module completion report to CSV format. Uh, the exported registrations report and module completion report are now CSV files, and we have converted these reports to CSV format to speed up their export process. And uh, files attached to learner activities now are included in their exported report. A new column has been added to the exported file of the learner activity reports, and this column includes hyperlinks to any files that were uploaded to a learner activity. So let's say you have a learner activity and your learner uploaded an image there. And now when you export a learner activity report, um, a URL to that image will be included in the spreadsheet. And then when you click a link, it will open up in a new tab and you'll see that image. So that's it for 2.2 release. And now let's talk about all of the um, features and feature enhancements that we are currently working on and plan to include into next 2.3 release. So the first one is module enrollment completion report. Uh, the new, this new report lets administrators track users' progress through enrolled modules. Uh, this report used to only exist for courses, um, but we are creating it for modules as well. Um, also, uh, we will give administrators ability to unlock, uh, unlock name and email fields of uh, the user. Administrators will be able to add their first name, last name, and email address of any user that they have access to. Uh, before administrators could only um, could not add it, these fields after the learner logged in for the first time. Also, we will be converting the rest of the summary reports uh, to CSV format. Uh, so completion by course, completion by course enrollment, completion by course tax, uh, course enrollment report, ratings report, and user logins will be converted to CSV format. And what it means for you is that you will receive them faster. 
uh, we will be implementing some module due date enhancements. Uh, the platform will generate due soon and pass due notifications for modules now. And we will um, give an option uh, to turn on or turn off authentication of email links. Uh, the token in the reminder emails will be optional. And it's up to you if you want to keep the token or not. And if you want to um, lock users into the platform um, with the token to speed, speed up the process. And we are also working on some enrollment enhancements. Um, administrators will be able to select all users in their enrollment tab and enroll them uh, all in a course at the same time. Also, we will be adding a new learner group filter to their enrollment model window. So you'll be able to filter all of the users by their learner group and then enroll everyone that belongs to that learner group. And um, uh, also, administrators will be able to select learners across <coughs> multiple pages in their enrollment tab and enroll them. So that's um, everything that we plan to enroll or include into 2.3 release, and it's coming soon. Uh, we're working on it right now, so it will be deployed in the next um, couple months, if not sooner. Thank you. And back to you, John. Wow. This, our development team has been very busy and we are keeping them uh, uh, working uh, on out for the next several months for sure. Uh, Veronica, thank you so much for that. Uh, just to do a quick recap, uh, our, our 2.2 release, we've added a public API. This is really, really exciting because as this continues to evolve and develop, uh, it gives you access to the system uh, through API calls. As a programmer, that's an exciting thing. Take my word for it. Um, reusable seats. Um, reporting has been updated and our, we continue to improve our batch management uh, functionality. Coming up in the near future, where you will see enhanced reporting for module enrollment, uh, summary reports, etc. Uh, our authentication links will uh, give you the ability to speed up the delivery of your uh, your emails, and we're making very significant enhancements for enrollment. So, uh, great job, and thank you, uh, Veronica, for everything. Um, what I'd like to do next, uh, with your permission, is to talk a little bit about our customer success framework. Um, one of the things that uh, we've become aware of is that your success and our success is tied together. And we know the program, we know the platform, but you know your business. So what we're starting to do is to work much more closely now with each of our customers to help them achieve specific goals and objectives uh, with our system. Those goals and objectives are business oriented, they're uh, uh, strategically uh, oriented to the, the, the goals and objective of the business. So what we've done is we've stepped back and have taken a look at who are who is the audience in RLP? And a lot of times we like to think in terms of the end user, the person who's actually consuming training. But we realize we have all of these different roles uh, that are involved in the Rockstar Learning Platform from your organization. We have the systems administrator, the enterprise administrator, even the office level administrator. Everyone has different uh, needs and different goals and different objectives with using the system. Um, we recognize that we have business owners, we have business managers, we have training managers. Everybody has a different set of tasks that they perform. So we want to be able to work with you and provide consultation, <clears throat> excuse me, consultation and hands-on training uh, to help you achieve your goals. You can kind of think of us uh, as your training solutions partner. Um, what I really want to highlight, though, is that your goals are 
our goals. And so we want to work with you to be able to develop uh, measurements that show how successful you are with your training programs and how successful we are in helping you meet those requirements. And we want to do that by providing uh, deployment assistance for you. you. Everyone has uh, goals and objectives. Um, it may be something as high level as measuring the return on investment for the platform, or it may be that you have a you want to bring in a new enterprise or a new office or add gamification and integrate video practice into your learning strategies. Um, the, or maybe even implement a new e-commerce strategy, uh, right, Carlene? Uh, so given that you have these goals and objectives, we, want, we are now making ourselves available to you to help you do the planning and the implementation uh, management for getting your programs up and running, uh, establishing the correct reporting, uh, all of the things associated uh, with the goals and objectives uh, that you've set. And so as part of that, what we normally do for new clients is we spend time with them at the beginning to plan out their implementation. We want to be able to develop a training plan that supports that implementation. So if your goal is to implement a new management training program, well, what are the things that you have to do and how does RLP uh, assist you in accomplishing those goals? And we want to be kind of in the middle between those two things. Normally, during our, our standard uh, uh, process, we uh, uh, develop that planning and then we walk through some basic orientation with you. How to use the system. Uh, we basically give you the keys to the car and you drive it off the lot. Well, at that point, though, we are now adding to that whole process um, a, cons a consultative approach to help you develop an implementation plans for any new program or any new directive uh, that you're using RLP to uh, accomplish. And so I just want to kind of... Uh, uh, Put that out there as an opportunity. Please contact your customer success manager or your account manager and uh, let us know what your goals and plans are. And we'll help you find the best way to get to that success. So that's kind of my quick message. Uh, my, our goal here today was to link your learning strategies with your learning platform. We did that by showing you how e-commerce can work for you, how our development teams are working tirelessly to meet your needs and how our consulting and success organization is building out to, uh, to provide uh, the, the necessary support to help you be as successful as you can. So with that, I uh, thank you all for coming uh, and attending, but I know that there's a lot of questions out there. And so what I'd like to do is to kick off our panel discussion. Uh, we want to be respectful of your time. So we're, we want to take this last 10 minutes uh, and answer those uh, questions, anything that we're unable to answer. Uh, uh, we will uh, make arrangements to get that uh, answer to you, even if that means we have to send an email or make a phone call. So with that, let's turn over. And uh, Stephanie, what are some of the questions that we have? All right. Well, let's just give it a minute. And everyone, you can put those questions into the Q&A panel or just post them right in the chat. We'll give you a second to get your thoughts together and get your typing fingers ready. I know that I learned a lot about RLP today. I didn't know about any of the new features that were coming up, so that was good for me. And if we don't have any questions, oh, here's one. Do you need to already have a Shopify account to put together that, to set up that integration that you showed? Yes, you do need to have a Shopify account and um, you'll need to put your products in there as well. So that has to exist and then you can um, implement the, 
the integration with Shopify. Okay, and I assume that works the same with the Infusionsoft one as well? Yes, that's correct. All right. We'll give it another minute, see if anybody else has any other questions. And uh, while, uh, while we're waiting for the questions to, to come through for if you need assistance and guidance on how to get a Shopify account set up and what's required for that, uh, let us know and we will uh, 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 help walk you through that entire process. Uh, also related to the e-commerce, can every enterprise have its own e-commerce screen? Um, yes, each enterprise, if you're using the, um, the Rockstar Learning Platform e-commerce sites, then each enterprise can have their own um, e-commerce site specific for them. You can brand it for um, each enterprise. So yes, we can do that. Perfect. And what's the best way to contact a customer success manager to get e-commerce set up? or to get Rockstar Learning Platform set up? Uh, just send an email to support at elblearning.com. Enough, you and I'll post that in the chat as well for everybody right there. Yes, we would love to hear from you. And also keep an eye out, you'll see um, if you're already a RLP user, you'll be seeing some emails from your customer support managers and you can contact them you can reach out to us really any way you want to reach out to us we'll find a way to respond to you so support your customer success manager you can tweet at us that probably won't get you the fastest response but it will get you a response <laughs> looks like right now those are all the questions that we have if you do come up with questions afterwards you can use that support email or you can reach out to your customer success manager We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much, John and your team for sharing all of the, this information with us today. It was extremely helpful. I think everybody learned a lot. And if you don't have the Rockstar Learning Platform yet, you can visit our website to get a free account. That's a great way to kind of check it out and explore for yourself. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today, and hopefully we'll see you on another webinar. We will be having these Rockstar Learning Platform webinars quarterly to keep you updated on everything that's going on. John, did you have anything else you wanted to share before we close out? Uh, no, uh, but uh, just keep, uh, keep learning. That's what uh, Rockstar Learning is all about. So thank you very much, Stephanie.